Hi, my name is Pet Fixel. I'm the Global Product Manager for Robot Controllers within ABB Robotics. Today we will talk about calibration of industrial robots. Now we have three different types of calibration. First, we have the standard calibration. Secondly, absolute accuracy calibration. And thirdly, something we call risk optimization that was added during 2020 to the palette of calibration. Calibration needs to have a purpose. And the purpose is to create a known reference location for the robot. As you know, the robot is built from motors, gears and mechanical components. And in a typical robot of today, we have four, no, six of those. Which means we have six motors, we have six joint angles. But as you all know, you would like to program the robot in X, Y, Z coordinates. The connection point in between the joint world and the Cartesian world is called the kinematic model. And in order to make that math work, we need to have a known zero position or a synchronization position. And that is what we are creating with the calibration. This is an IB1100 in its reference position, also known as the synchronization position. But then the question is, how do I know that it's actually in the correct synchronization? So follow me and I will show you. In order to check the calibration of the robot, we first need to move the robot to zero position on the joint angles. This particular one is on 90 degree on axis one, just for illustration purposes. Then you need to do two things. First of all, check on the calibration mark and make sure that the wide band and the narrow band is aligned. So the narrow groove should be within the wide one. These marks could be different from different robot types. So che check your manual to find out what is the proper settings on your robot. Secondly, you need to check the calibration values and on this uh, robot label, you can find the calibration values for axis 1 to 6. And if you check the calibration values on your teach pendant, you should see that those are the same values. Then you know that this robot is accurately calibrated and is ready to go. Standard calibration. The purpose of standard calibration is to make sure that we have high repeatability of the reference position or synchronization position of the robot to ensure that we can have a factory calibration that can be repeated in field operation. For years we have had the calibration pendulum equipment, but five years ago we was at the crossroad. We were challenged to find a solution that has even higher repeatability, even better ease of use aspects at a lower cost. And that was when we developed the axis calibration. And you will find the axis calibration toolkit in these two boxes that meets the requirements of most of our robots. Within the axis calibration method, we can do three things. First of all, which is obvious, is to get the robot into the synchronization position and that is called fine calibration. Secondly, we can do the revolution counter update and I will come back to revolution counter update and describe why we have that version. And thirdly, we can do reference calibration. Reference calibration is mainly used if you have a lot of equipment on the robot, whereas fine calibration is done on a naked robot. So that is typically the two different versions. Within the reference calibration, you also need to do an investment, which means create your reference before you can use it for maintenance operation. Calibration data in our robot systems consists of motor calibration offset and the revolution counter. When you are moving the robot arm through the gearbox, the motor will turn as will an angle sensor, which will in this case is a resolver. When you have the robot arm in synchronization position, 
there will always be an angle on the resolver but also we need to understand that we have a zero set of the revolution counter. So when you do a revolution counter update, you put the revolution counter to zero. And when you do fine calibration, you also modify the motor calibration offset. Reference calibration is designed to facilitate easy maintenance in the workshop. It will compensate for robots on high pedestals in dense areas or even with a tool attached to a robot system. The investment you need to do is to create the reference that will be stored on the robot controller for further use. Wrist optimization is a new tool in the calibration family. Wrist optimization is developed for those customers running continuous processes like arc welding and dispensing. If you experience that the tool reorientation performance is not up to expectation, this is really a tool you should look into. Thank you for your attention. I hope this has been valuable for you. You will always find more information in our manuals.